Y'all looking at me like y'all think I'm going to say something. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, hey, uh, let's let's pray real quick, and we're going to get rolling, because I ain't going to be up here long. All right, all right. <laughs> Father, we just thank you for this time, Lord God. Thank you for having your way, Lord God. Thank you that you have already moved, oh God. Yeah. Father, we thank you that the atmosphere is set, oh God, for a right now word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you that no weapons formed against us shall prosper, oh God. Mm. And, Father, I thank you that we're not ignorant, that they may be formed, oh God, but they will not prosper in the name of Jesus. They will not prosper, Father. And we stand on that word in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we thank you that signs, miracles, and wonders shall be performed on this day, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And, Father, I thank you that... Nothing carnal or mundane come out of my mouth, oh God, but only what you say. Nothing out of my own intellect be spoken, but only what the Spirit says in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we say, have your way. Do what only you can do. Touch like only you can touch, oh God. And, Father, we thank you that our life is changed on today, that somebody comes to know your son, Jesus. And we thank you, Father. We give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Man, have you guys had an awesome time already? Had, had, had that just yes. been awesome already? Yes. It's been amazing already. Thank you, Father. You have to be on your toes around here because you don't know what might happen. You don't know what you might be called to do around here. Amen. 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 And they said amen. They already know. Amen. And we, cause, cause we believe that 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 the gift that's inside of you, God, God wants to exercise that gift because that's not for you. Amen. It, it's right. for others to be empowered. That's right. For others to be in, equipped and to move forward uh, in what God has called them to do. Mm-hmm. That's right. So that's why we uh we challenge you and and just allow God to have His way. Thank God for what he's already done. Hey, so so all this month, we've been talking about the blessed life. Mm-hmm. We've been talking about the blessed life. Mm-hmm. And how God really desires for each and every one of us to, to live a blessed life. Mm-hmm. That's why he said in John 10, 10, he said he's the God of abundance. Mm-hmm. The God of more than enough. Yes, the God that's overflowed. Come on. The God that says, hey, you not, not only enough for your house. Come on. But yeah. enough for your neighbor's house. Yeah. And somebody else's house. Come on. And somebody else's house. Come on. So 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 I say this all the time. If you just if you just praying for your house, mm-hmm. then that's a yeah. selfish prayer. Yeah, yeah. Because God desires for you to have enough for your house and your house and your house and your house and, your house and somebody else's house and somebody else's house. Yeah. He said that's why he get he made a covenant with Abraham. He said that you are blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. yeah. So so each and every one of us are blessed. Yes, yeah. God. So we may be a blessing. Yeah. Now in that, in that, we 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 will be able to enjoy some of those things, but it's not it's not all for us. Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, I, I use this illustration that if, if your pocket is full, then then God can't put nothing else in your pocket. Yeah. Wow. So so whatever in your pocket, I mean you you gotta you gotta be able to, to share and bless others with it. And as you give. Uh-huh. Then uh-huh. what? Uh-huh. Y'all talk to it will as you be. give, yeah. then it will be given back right. unto you. Press down, yeah. press down, yeah. shake, it shake it together. Damn, right. Y'all better talk to me. Yeah, yeah. That's the blessed Yeah, and, and, and men will begin to give it to your bosom. Yeah. That's why you you can be out somewhere and people just walk up to you and say, Hey, I want to bless you. I want, let me let me let me let me pay for that for you. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Uh-huh. Can, can I tell you a secret? Come on. That's the culture of the kingdom. And we look at that sometimes. Like, I'll do that a lot. And it amazes me how people say sometimes, like, why are you doing that? Yeah. Like, no, yeah. no strings attached. Yeah. 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 Hey, you know what? At, when, when people do that to me now, you know what? I, it, it's not it's not an arrogant statement, but I'm in my mind, I'm thinking that's supposed to happen. Yeah, that's supposed yeah. to happen. Hey, yeah, yeah. That, that's supposed to happen to yeah. me yeah. because I'm a giver. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That's yes. supposed to happen. Yeah. Supposed to happen. You know, me, me and Prophet yeah. Wallace, we've been around each other now for I don't know 15, 20 years now. And like we go out like we we fighting over the check. You better believe like, me. Like we fighting over who gonna pay for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously. Each other, 
Like hide each other card. They put on the table, we hide it and say, okay, well, I got this one. But but reality is that's the culture of the kingdom. I mean, like, yes. we're supposed to be blessing others. We're supposed yes. to be doing all those things. Yes. And again, if, if, if you wanna you wanna hold it all to yourself, uh -huh. then that's that's just what you're gonna have. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, yeah. right. That's yeah. good. That's just what you're gonna have. Yeah. You were blessed to be a blessing. That's right. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we was I, I was I, I was reading something, I was reading something, I just want to share this with this is Selah moment. That it said that uh that if make sure I say it right, it said if Jesus Christ had preached the message that some leaders preach today, then he would never have been crucified. That if Jesus Christ have pre would, have, would have preached the messages that some people preach today, he would have never been crucified. Mm. Mm. That's good. Oh, yeah. Pause it because I want y'all to get that. Oh, that's good. That he would have never been crucified. Because, because when, when, when Jesus spoke, it was always a challenge. Oh, yeah. He was always challenging people. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. To be better. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Always to be better. Yes. Oh, yeah. Always to walk by faith. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And not by sight. Always to, to, to go higher in the things of God. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you challenge people. That's that's uncomfortable for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Mo and most of the time, people just book. Yeah. <laughs> so, so he said that, that he may have never been, he may have never been crucified. And we 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 encourage you around here. We're gonna speak life to you. We're gonna encourage you. We're gonna do that. We're gonna love all you, but at the same time, we're gonna challenge you just a little bit. That's oh, right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Oh yeah. Amen. And so God has really been been speaking to me and challenging me on on uh, faith here in the last last couple weeks on faith. And I said, okay, God, challenging challenging me on faith. And uh, how a lot of us we say we have faith. And a lot of times we put in situations, uh, we see just how much faith we have. Yeah. Right, right. <clears throat> All right now. Mm -hmm. Say this a couple weeks ago that, you know, we a lot of times we say we're going to try faith. And faith says, I'm going to try you. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to try faith. But then faith says, I'm going to try you. Mm -hmm. So my scripture today, I'm going to be coming from 1 John 5, 14. Y'all know it. First John 5, 14. That says, uh, and this is the confidence that we have in him. Mm -hmm. That if we ask some things, anything, anything, According to his will, mm -hmm. he heareth us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Anything. Anything according to his will, he heareth us. Verse 15 says, and if we know that he hears us, what whatsoever we ask. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. Come on. We ask. We know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's powerful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, then he heareth us. Mm -hmm. And if we know that he heareth us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have desired of him. Yeah. That's right. Now real quick, I want you to turn to uh, first... For uh, James, uh, I want to read you something else. James five fourteen. James five fourteen. Who has it?
James 5.14. Read it for me. James 5.14. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with the with all in the name of the Lord. Go ahead. 15. 15. And the prayer of faith shall save the, the sick. The what? The prayer of faith. The prayer of faith. Go ahead. Shall save the sick. Mm -hmm. And the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. So that's what I want to talk about real quickly today. The prayer of faith. Come the on. prayer of faith. Mm. What is the prayer of faith? Come on. The prayer of faith. I want to speak to that real quickly today. The, it says that the prayer of faith shall heal him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The prayer of faith shall heal him. It's the prayer of faith. What is the prayer of faith? Mm. The prayer that's prayed in faith. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's simple as that. The prayer that is prayed in faith. Mm -hmm. Meaning that one, once you go to God and you petition him, and Mark 11 says that anything that you ask and doubt not. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Doubt, doubt not. not. That's right. doubt, doubt not. Doubt not. Then you shall have it. Yes. 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 He says that anything that you go to God with and pray and ask him for, if Doubt not, then you shall have the petitions of your heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But so many times we go to God and it's almost it's, it's out of religion, it's out of just so something that we do, yeah. mm -hmm. and then it's no power behind it. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prophet Walsh was talking about power earlier. Power when we were saying our our declaration, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is something about the, the power that resides in a believer. Come on. That that it's not you, but it's the power that's in you. Yes. Yes. So, so he said that anything that you yes. ask according to his yes. name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, come on. Uh -huh. See, it's not about you. That's right. It's not about you. And see, sometimes we get we get it so confused. We we try to do it under our our mind. Yeah. But it's not. It's, it's not. It's never going to be done by you. That's right. It, it's, it's done through you. Yes. Yes. Big difference. Yes. Yes. It's, it's done. Th that's why he said you you pray these things in Jesus' name. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. So so the prayer of faith is is the one that's prayed in faith. It's prayed in faith. He said anything you ask according to His will, according to Jesus Jesus' name, that you shall have. And again, so 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 many times we 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 just pray these things, we pray these things, but we really we really don't don't. It's no power behind it. I was walking this morning uh at the park, and it was this guy fishing. Let me tell you what he said. He was fishing, uh, and I said, man, I said, uh, you 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 catch anything out of there? He said, no, nah, I just come out here killing time. I don't expect wow. to catch anything. Wow. 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 Come on. He said, I don't I don't expect. To catch anything. And that's what a lot of us do a lot of times we do in prayer. Come on, yeah. A lot of times we, we go to God. We we really don't expect it. Come on. It sounds good. Yeah. But do you believe it? See, see, that's what faith is. We heard for the longest that, that faith is just just hey, you you just have faith. You you believe on these things, but reality is twofold. You you believe on it, but then you gotta expect, expect, yes, that's right, for, for God that's to right. do what He said He will do. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we, yeah, that believing on it is the first step. Yeah, but then you gotta expect, yes, for God to do what He said He would do. Because we know that he will, because that's what Numbers 23 tells us. It says that he, he's not a man that he should lie, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he act, he speaks, and when he makes a promise that he will fulfill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amen. So you got to do more than just believe. You got to expect it. Expect it. Mm -hmm. We talked about some immediate manifestation. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. And if it doesn't happen immediately, then you got to be steadfast. Yeah. See, see, you can't, even in that, you can't get caught up in your feelings. Come on, come on. Because faith, faith is not about your feelings. Come on, that's it, right. 
It, it's not about your feelings, you Prophet Wise. Right. I didn't I didn't feel like getting up this morning. No, I'm gonna be honest, I'm the pastor. I could have stayed at home today. I could have too. Yeah. I could have stayed at home today. I didn't I I woke up this morning, I didn't feel like it. Mm -hmm. Right. But I, but but I, but once I, once I came in these doors and got around all this power, yeah. Yeah. Come on. something began to stir in me. Come on. Yeah. So, so when, when you walk in that faith, the one thing you can't do, you can't get caught up in your feelings. Amen. Because your feelings will deceive you. Feelings, and feelings and faith don't go together. See, see, this is what, this is what happened. See, most of the times we let our feelings dictate our faith. Yeah. Yeah. But reality is your faith should dictate your feelings. Yes, right. See, even though I don't feel like getting up and praying prophet wise, yeah. 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 I know that I gotta do it because yeah. if I do it, then yeah. them feelings gonna line up. Yeah. So that, that's yeah. like going to the gym. Me and my yeah. wife was just talking about this the other day. She said, I don't feel like going, but once I get there, then then I get stirred up and and, and you know, and then I, I'm 15 minutes into the workout, then I I, I feel like it then. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because because if you saying that you want to lose what you want to get in shape, you ain't gonna feel like it all the time. Right, right, right. 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 And my toes is just don't work in this situation. You can blink your eyes and clap your your heels together three times. That ain't working. I know. Right. Work. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just spoiled it for you today. I'm sorry. <laughs> So, so my point is this, you can't, you, in this journey, in your faith walk, you can't get caught up on feelings. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You, you can't get caught up on feelings. Imagine, imagine when, 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 when David, when, when, uh, when he was in Ziklag and, and y'all know the stories with, when, uh, when, when the soldiers came and took all his men, families, and children, and all these things, and they said they wanted to stone David. Yeah. And then he, he says that, and David had to encourage himself in the yeah. Lord. Yeah. Can you imagine how yeah. David felt when you had the very people around you coming against you, talking against you, not only talking about you, they talking about they want to kill you. Yeah, yeah, stone. yeah. Uh -huh. stone, him, stone you. Uh -huh. Can you imagine how he felt? Mm. And it says that he had to encourage himself in the Lord. Mm. So, so, so it says that David goes to God and, and asks him what he should do. And, and the Lord spoke to him and says, hey, go get him. Mm. Pursue. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pursue. And, and that's, how, that's how we have to be in this faith walk. Even though you may not feel like you yes. still got to pursue. Come yes. on. See, faith, yes. faith will say, come, come on, come on. Long as you got faith in it and, not, and don't take your eyes off of it, faith will drag you along the way. Yes. Faith will say, come on, come on, yes. come on. Woo. Faith will take you to the promise. Yeah, oh, come yeah. on. Oh, yeah. That's right. Come on now. Faith will take, always lead you to the promise. Yeah. But you can't faint not in your well doing. Mm -hmm. Faint not in well doing. Faint not in well doing. Mm -hmm. Faint not mm -hmm. in well doing. Yes, God. Because if you don't give up, you will get to the promise. Mm -hmm. If you faint not, you will get to the promise. So as 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 like I said over the last month, we've been talking about the blessed life, and we've been talking about how in this walk you gotta have faith, and and a lot of times faith will cause you to to uh, do some very uncomfortable things. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. Oh, yeah. Some very uncomfortable things. Faith will stretch you. It will grow you. It will call. And and and, and that's the thing about it. it. It says that God is always trying to grow us in our faith. Always, he's always trying to grow us in our faith. I'm gonna tell you a story. And I'm gonna make three quick points about it, real quickly, real quickly. I told you guys a story of uh, um, the uh, how it was, it was a great big mountain, and and um, eagles eagles were staying at the top of the mountain, and and one day an earthquake comes along and rocks the mountain top, and one of the eggs fall out. And, uh, and 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 the egg rolls down into this chicken coop, yeah. right? It rolls down into this chicken coop, 
And so the, the chickens see this egg and and, and one um 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 uh one one of the hens see, see she sees this egg and she's mature and she said, I'll I'll take care of this egg because that's normally what chickens do. They nurture, they nurture the eggs until the to the eggs are born out and all kind of stuff. So she takes she takes the egg, the eagle's egg, and she nurtures it. And so one day the uh the the the, the eagle egg hatches. And the, and the eagle is hanging around these chickens, grew, grow up with these chickens, and do every and, and, and learns to do everything that the chicken does, but it's an eagle. And so one day, one day this eagle, one day this, this flock of, of, of eagles are flying by soaring high in the sky, and, and the eagle is, is playing with these other chickens, and he looks up and he sees the, the flock flying by, and, and something in it just stirs, and something in it begins to stir. Yeah. And, and, and he tells the, the other chickens, he tells the chickens, he said, uh, man, I, I want to soar like those eagles one day. Wow. And, and they look back at him and they start laughing at him. They say, you're a chicken. We're meant to just to, to, to pluck, pluck, pluck our heads in the ground and walk on the ground. And, and, uh, and, and so they mimic him and, and, they, and, they, and they laugh at him, do all these things. And, and uh, so he goes on about his business. And another day that these eagles come, come soaring by again, high in the sky. And, and, and the eagle looks up and he sees them again. And this time he doesn't say anything because he, He's ashamed and he's scared because he don't want to be mocked by the chickens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't say anything. But something in it is stirring, it's stirring, it's stirring. And a few more times this happened. And, and, and he can hear it in his head. If he says something, then what he's going to get is, you're a chicken. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chickens don't fly. Mm. And so at the end of the story, he, he goes all about his life. He's an eagle, but he's living as a chicken. And at the end of his lifetime, he dies as a chicken. Never walked in destiny. Never experienced the life that he was supposed to experience as an eagle. Never lived the blessed life wow. or the life that he was supposed to live. Because of what others were saying around him. Mm. So here's the first point I want to make about this story. In order to live a blessed life, it will require you to answer the call on your life and to leave some things behind. Mm -hmm. It will require you to leave some things behind. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you a question. What are you willing to leave behind? You fill in the blank. Yes, yes. yes. What, what are you willing to leave behind to live the life that you're supposed to live? Mm. What are you willing to leave behind? Because it's not going to feel good, but I told you earlier, your feelings and faith don't mix. That's right. 